let's do one clinical so you want to give clinical yes by by it will be different from what we did previously okay okay no problem okay so uh, yeah i'll enter the room i will uh, i'll introduce myself dr narish i am one of the exam candidate for this and this is my mark sheet for the assessment of this station and i'll wash my hands yes okay dr narish okay dr narish uh, you have to examine samia samia is 12 years old and you have to do her msk examination okay so i will wash my hands i will go to the samia and i'll introduce uh, the, i will let this make a wrap up with the samia hello samia what are you doing hello doctor doctor uh, i've come here mm -hmm. to, to meet you okay okay how are you doing otherwise i'm fine doctor okay are you complete with your mother or your father hello doctor i i am her mom okay hello mom i am dr narish one of the exam candidate for this station and today actually i have to examine sanya like how actually his muscles and joints work is it okay with you yes doctor shall sure, go ahead okay thank you so much so sanya i'm going to examine you uh, from this one section i'll take this lower limb then i'll go for the upper limb and where actually you have a pain then you please let me know okay, okay. and before examining i have to ask you three questions one okay. okay one do you have any pain in your muscles back and joints yes doctor i have pain so uh, uh, where you have a pain and doctor in my right knee right knee okay and do you have any any problem by while you dress or undress yourself uh, doctor uh, while uh, uh, yes I, i have problem while uh, while wearing pants okay and uh, do you have any problem when you climb the stairs up and down yes doctor i have, i have pain while climbing while going up so and down I, I, I my right knee three questions then i have to i have to ask this key, i have to uh, i have to see her is there any dysmorphism no no what about the dimensions of this, of this, uh, this uh, sanya uh, height and weight or height 70th centile and uh, weight 80th centile 70th or 80th right so any, any devices around i know and how the sanya looks ill looking or well looking looks well a bit in pain from face okay then i asked the sanya uh, what is the posture of sanya at this point of a time whether he's sitting or uh, like she is know, sitting on she is sitting on couch it take on a couch okay then asked the sanya can you please walk for me yes sanya is uh, walking to the end of the room and without any problem or the limping is there limping is there uh, putting more pressure on left foot left foot. while walking okay 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 and then actually uh, i would like to see any deformity of the sanya uh, because i am already uh, i already uh, the sanya is already exposed till mid of thigh mm, yes or exposed okay so i like to see any deformity there there is swelling of right knee right knee okay okay is there any uh, asymmetry any scars any rashes no okay where where mm -hmm. exactly hmm? pardon where exactly you are looking for rashes i am looking the rashes basically here because i am right now actually examining the lower limb so i am basically looking for the rashes in the front back and side okay not present not present any scars not present okay then i will take the sanya on a couch and since actually he is she's having a this uh, this uh, swelling in the right, left knee joint so my focus is basically first for the swelling so how the swelling looks it's a red hot red hot yes yeah that that swelling looks like very this thing red and that the swelling looks uh, how, sorry shape of the swelling size of swelling uh, it's whole right knee is fallen so okay and then i would like to feel the this limb Uh, what is the temperature of this swelling there is a tender or uh, this this thing it's tender and temperature over it is raised raised okay then i would like to basically ask sanya can he able to move the make the movements of this uh, knee joint particularly can do but with pain with pain and what is the, uh, uh, approximately what is the range of the movement range uh, movement is restricted okay. of right knee okay okay okay, okay. thank you and then i like to basically one hip one joint uh, above and one joint down so first of all i'll look for basically the hip joint then ask the trainer can you please uh, i'll go for the active movement can she able to uh, uh, make the hip up yes she can 
Okay. Can she able to make the hip down? I mean, this whole like this. Yes. Okay. Can, can, can she, do can she without... able to make the adduction of this uh, uh, hip joint and abduction of the hip joint? Can do, but the, while doing this, she is experiencing pain in right knee. Okay. Can she able to rotate, inter rotate, etc. rotate the hip? Ha no. No. Can, no. Cannot do herself. Okay. What about the ankle joint? Ankle joint is normal. In terms of no, other movements? No. Movements not painful. Okay, then I would like to basically look for this uh, capitus, this uh, patellar tap. I would like to, I like to basically go and squeeze this thing and I'll see towards the sinus face. If she's in a pain, I will not do. If she's not in a pain, then I'd like to if there is any patellar tap present or not. The, the, the moment you touch, she felt pain. So I will not do. Because I have okay. to respect, I will respect Sanya's. Like she's in a pain, I'm not okay. going to make her pain. Go ahead. Okay, this is my this thing. Then I would like to go for the other limb, other limb, the same MSK. Three from minutes. The, okay, okay. So today I examine uh, Sanya. She is 12 years old girl. Her main concern is here to uh, because she's having a pain in the right knee, uh, sorry, left knee joint. And uh, uh, my my task is given like actually examine the knee joint. And uh, she looks uh, uh, well for his build in terms of his uh, weight and length. And she's a uh, good looking. I have to check her puberty. But at the same time, when I examine, I found there is a swelling over the knee joint, which is quite hot and red and tender. And she's not able to make the joints of this uh, knee joint, especially um, this. Uh, the joints are very difficult to movement of the, the, this joint is very difficult. But at the same time, at the hip joint, she's able to make a movements. But but actually, she is uh, a restricted one. Ankle is perfectly fine. I, I want to conclude my examination to look for the pegas of the upper joint as well as the left lower, this uh, right lower limb. And I would like to plot his weight and height on a graphopid growth chart. And then I would like to uh, take his vitals. And I will take a complete general history and examination. OK. So uh, what, what do you think is a uh, diagnosis? I can think of because I have not checked the other joints. The only thing I can think because this is a knee joint is on, only involved here. So I can think it basically there is some arthritis happening in the knee joint. I have to look out the cause. What could be the cause of the arthritis? And it looks like it's like quite hot and tender. It looks like a septic arthritis. Okay. Or maybe actually okay. uh, she may be having, I have taken the complete history. She may be, but, but, but she's she, so I cannot put it hemophilic here. Okay, so considering uh, she is having juvenile idiopathic arthritis, how you will manage her? I would like to manage so, uh, juvenile idiopathic arthritis. As I told you, I'd like to take vitals and everything. My first line of investigation, I would like to go for a complete blood count with ESR, looking for the leukocytosis or looking for the neutrophilia and inflammatory markers in terms of the CRP and this, and I took a culture also. At the same time, if I'm thinking of this, it is quite hot and swollen. I may uh, go for the ultrasound of this uh, knee joint to look for any fluid. And if there's a fluid, then I like to aspirate and I like to admit this chat. That's very important, first thing. And then actually, I will, uh, my goal of this management, I have a four goals of the JIA. One, actually, I have to give it good, good relief with the pain. That's very important. The second thing, that there should be no remission. I want to give them a medicine so that actually the remission should be as minimum as possible. Third, actually, she should have a normal physical activity and uh, uh, normal physical in terms of moving, walking, running, dressing. This is my goal. The three other three goals are there. Okay. Okay, your time is over. Thank you, doctor. And rice also, rice also, rice. The rest, immobilization and this. Okay.